This southern white rhino, appropriately named Hope, may be responsible for saving her cousins, the northern white rhino, from extinction. Hope lives in the Polish city of Kozhuf, and researchers here are harvesting some of her eggs, trying to perfect their technique for fertilizing and re-implanting eggs into surrogate rhino moms. We could say procedure from today was something like um, the heart trial for, for going to Kenya and do procedure with the northern white rhinos there. There are about 17,000 southern white rhinos, but only two northern white rhinos, both female and unable to breed. The only way how to survive for the northern white rhinos is to learn how with this embryo we could put it into a surrogate mother, and we will work again with the females in the European zoos to optimize the technique for this. All these tests are dry runs to perfect the process before they start working with the two northern white females. Hope is actually the best donor we have in Europe so far. So I hope there will be a number of all sites that we harvested would be around 10, maybe even higher. If it is higher, it's, it's a really great number. The team harvested nine healthy eggs. They have learned how to successfully fertilize those eggs outside the womb. The sticking point now is successfully implanting those fertilized eggs back into a rhino. In the beginning, we had some ideas which didn't work, so we optimized equipment, we changed equipment, we changed the procedure. But now we are quite confident that we have a very safe, very effective technique to harvest oocyte in such big animal like a southern white rhino or northern white rhino. They hope to have the implementation process perfected in the next few years and then they will try to harvest eggs and fertilize them with sperm preserved from northern whites. The last male of the species died in March of last year. So all uh, the two females sleeping down are the two northern female white rhinos left on the planet. If the experiment works, it could have implications for repopulating other big endangered species. Kevin Enix, VOA News.